Hi guys, my name is Stuart James. I'm a songwriter producer from the UK. Uh, I contacted Dennis from Acoustic Fields in January 2017 uh, to basically uh, help with the construction of my own studio, which is where I'm doing this little selfie from at the moment. So uh, yeah, after speaking to Dennis and me looking into uh, the new technology, the new carbon technology Dennis uses, I just thought it was, it sounded great compared to using the standard uh, bass traps, etc. So yeah, so Dennis, uh, basically went through everything I give him the dimensions of the room uh, and uh, the difference with this project compared to some that Dennis has done I think is I wanted to do it as a DIY project myself so meaning I wanted to build everything bespoke uh, and uh, just just go with it really so Dennis agreed uh, that he, uh, he would provide his product and his expertise and time uh, but it would be a long process <laughs> uh, which I didn't realize how long uh, I didn't realize it would take me three months uh, to build this but it did but it's well worth the wait so uh, yeah so behind me uh, is uh, the rear wall uh, and that is uh, approximately 350 mil thick and it's got carbon lats well I, I built stud walls and then uh, we put carbon panels in between different depths uh, different height and then we applied over this and then we did acoustic treatment on top of that uh, and then if I spin round to the front wall so monitor wall uh, it's the same principle so we've got the same carbon technology in the monitor wall there uh, and it uh, yeah it, it's it's sounding amazing to be honest with you so you've got again the carbon technology in them walls uh, and then as you can see from the video to now around the room we've got uh, the acoustic panels which are all self-built Uh, in total, I think we've got 29 acoustic panels. Uh, the carbon filters uh, panels in the wall, uh, there was about 30 of them. Uh, took some building. And then you can see behind me here, we've got diffusers. We have three diffusers in the control room. Uh, and then below them, you can see the green boxes below them. Uh, they're also uh, uh, the carbon filters. So. Yeah, so we have a vocal booth next door as well, which I'll show you in a second. Um, we also have two more diffusers and carbon filters and foam panels in there too. But basically this, you know, they say patience is a virtue and I agree because it sounds amazing. Uh, the bottom end, the low end is just ridiculous and insane. I've been in a lot of studios and they've always had problems with managing the low end, you know, EQing it out or whatever. And it's just really nice to be able to sit in a room. I'm still getting used to the room. Obviously, I've got to get used to the room uh, and how it reacts and stuff. But just it's just nice to be able to sit in a room knowing it's very true. Uh, which I know these rooms like that around the world, but uh, for myself to have one, I feel blessed. Uh, and then these diffusers are just outstanding. Uh, just a separation uh, between them and the definition uh, you can you, you can just hear it sounds great uh, especially in the vocal booth uh, I mean uh, I did a vocal in there last night and uh, when I come to listen to it uh, on, my, on, on the door I, I just just you can hear every word you know it's so clear and precise uh, so it's a pleasure to sing in there. So, anyway, so this is my control room, stroke writing room. Let's try and give you a little spin round. I don't know if I can do this 
selfie videos look like this. Put this out in my hand now. So yeah, that's my beautiful control stroke writing room. And then if you follow me, you shall head to the vocal booth. Very small, but sounds amazing. So just open this door here. Please follow me this way. You will see we have on the wall facing you. Front wall, we have two more diffusers, and below that we have uh, more carbon filters. Uh, and then we face the performer, vocalist, violinist, whatever it may be, just point towards this and you get the clarity, the definition, uh, you just get everything, especially a vocal, but a vocal is just sounds amazing. Uh, and then what we have on the side walls, we have more carbon uh, filters, uh, but these are just very raw, They're just sat on the wall, uh, equidistant to both sides, uh, and the very depths as well, it depends on what room you have. Uh, Obviously, Dennis is the man for that, so he just advised me what to use and what to build. So, uh, and then here on the rear wall, coming around, coming around, we have more uh, acoustic panels on the rear wall, for the mids to highs. So, guys, that is my little quaint vocal booth, but it sounds bloody amazing. So. I take my hat off to you, Dennis, if I had one on the time. So that is it, guys, my vocal booth. Heading back into the uh, control room. If I can make it through. I'm doing a selfie all this time. So, back into the control room. So, I think that is about it. I just want to shout out to Dennis to say, Dennis, thank you for your time, your help and expertise with my beautiful home studio project. It's been well worth the wait, mate. And uh, thank you very much, man. It's been very, very good working with you. All the best. <laughs>